Hello, darlings. Happy bloody Monday to all of you. A fresh week on the channel. A new start on the channel. Welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> and welcome to part one of the Hargroves. We are here today. We are going to be building the big, huge 50 by 50 lot. This is going to be the mansion that I was talking about. Mid-century mansion. Think kind of like 50s, 60s kind of, um, I don't know, that kind of like mid-century vibe. Lots of brick. Semi-updated in places, I would imagine, especially kitchens and whatnot and blah, 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 blah. But that's the kind of vibe that we want to go for. Something a bit like this. Ta-da! I got really inspired from this photo of this is the only photo. Oh, look at the state of my mic. Oh, I'm such a Virgo. What the hell's that? Let me get you. Come here. I'm trying to see if I could come here, you little shit. You will get off. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh, God. Disgusting. Anyway, move that mic out of shot. Anyway, this is the kind of vibe that I want to go for. Yeah, that kind of vibe. This is the only photo I've got of this, like wherever this is, this house. And I'm thinking that's all I need. I don't want to take any more inspiration. I'm just going to go ahead and do my own kind of thing, but get inspired from what this beautiful house looks like. So that is what we're going to be doing today, my loves. Yes, we are indeed. So this week on the channel is going to be primarily all Let's Build the Worlds. I'm going to concentrate on this particular house all week until Friday, where I'm going to be bringing out Beryl's adventures that I promised you last week. I just didn't have the time didn't have the time and I just wanted to kind of keep this week a bit more simplified. No speed builds and whatnot. Main reasons being I go away on Friday because Tom's taking me away for my birthday because it's my birthday on the 7th. So it's my birthday in just over a week. So I am going away for the weekend on Friday. So that is why I need to just keep this week a little bit more simplified so I can have a nice birthday celebration. So yes, thought I would just let you know. Enough babbling. Let's get into game and stop building. So here we are, my darling friends, on the big 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek. This is just down from the Chateau de Baptiste. Um, so yes, we're, we're down here. We're down here. This is where it's going to be. I think this would be a kind of good spot, actually. It's kind of neutral in the front. The brick, I would probably carry on through with the driveway and stuff. I think that would um really, really help. Who says that? Is that... Um, Agnes Crumplebottom. Oh, look at... Oh, she's in a right fuming mood. She is. Look at the blood. Look at their face. Look at this. Is this Bob? Oh, Bob's crying. It's Eliza, isn't it, love? You can tell me. It's Eliza, isn't it? Oh, bless him. It is. Fuck's sake, Eliza. Always ruining... Ruining things you are. Anyway, this is the family that we are moving in to this big mansion lot. Now they are both global superstars, my darlings. Global superstars. This is Chester Hargrove. He is an artist, as in like a musical artist. I would say he's probably quite similar to, I don't know, maybe The Weeknd, that kind of vibe. He's in his like late 20s, early 30s, I would imagine. Um, global superstar at the minute. Absolute celebrity of dreams. Um, and his music is really good. Everybody loves it. I'm going to do a recording studio on the house as well. Underground, I think. Do a big recording studio for him. Um, I just love him. Really cool style. And, well, I think it's fair to say he's absolutely stunning for a start. I mean, oh, my lordy Lou, I'm for it. I really am. And this is his beautiful wife. Oh, where's she gone? Just like, where are you, darling? This is Tal Tala Hargrove as well. Let me just... Pause it, unpause it so we can see her face properly. <gasps> Tala is absolutely stunning as well. Tala is an actress, a global superstar in her own right as well. I reckon these two met at an award ceremony, maybe like, I don't know, five, six years ago. So they're kind of newly married. I reckon they've been married for about maybe a year, maybe a little bit longer than that. So they're quite a young couple. They're absolutely polluted for money. I mean, they've got eight million simoleons for God's sake. So they're the richest Sims in this world. Um... And I'm absolutely for it. Absolutely for it. Tala is actually from the Philippines as well. Well, her parents are. Her parents moved over to America or America. Willow Creek. Um, I reckon when Tala was maybe in her teens. So Tala is still very, very heavily into Philippine culture, as is her family, of course, as well. 
Um, I think it's only right we should start um, sort of representing some of you as South Asia, Southeast Asian beauties out there. And that is what I've heard, I've gone and done. And I think she's absolutely stunning. Tala is absolutely beautiful. They're both really, really nice sims as well. They are both really, really nice sims. Um, they have got pristine reputations. They're just all around nice people, to be honest with you. I reckon Tala does a lot of charity work, um, especially with animals and stuff. We do need to give these guys some animals. I don't know how we're going to go about doing that just yet. But I do want to add some animals into this family as well. Maybe a couple of cats and a dog or something. They're going to have a huge house, four to five bedrooms. Um, it's going to be stunning. We all know that. We're going to do it. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, and I've, this is their little one, Aria. This is Aria, their daughter. A um, little bit of a madam. little bit of a madam, but very well looked after. Very well looked after indeed. Now, these two both still work. They both work um, kind of full time. So I reckon Aria, they're both great parents and stuff, but I reckon they've got staff to kind of look after Aria and whatnot, babysitters, nannies, all of that kind of business. I'm not going to do like a live-in nanny like I did with the chateau up there. Um, I'm not going to do that for this household, I don't think. I think what I'm going to do is get a butler for this household. So we need to make sure to put a butler's room in this house too. Um, and they will kind of do some kind of like nannying duties as well, which is all good, all good, all good. Now, I don't reckon, I don't reckon Tal Tala is in um, the kind of dows, the dames of Willow Creek Society. I don't reckon she, she's a bit too famous for all that. She kind of stays away from her neighbours quite a lot. They, they fangirl. They all fangirl around her. She is a global superstar, as is her husband. They're, they, they're kind of mixed with different crowds and whatnot. Maybe not. I reckon she would be kind of friends with the Batistes, definitely. She's a designer. She probably makes some of her outfits. In fact, the outfit that she's got on is a Batiste. It is. I've made it up now. Um, so that is what's going on yesterday. Yes, it is indeed. So, yeah, I just love this new family. I think they're going to be really, really interesting to play around with. Um, and I'm looking forward to developing these characters a little bit more as well. If you've got any ideas on what you sort of see for this family, and if there's any of you Filipinos out there that want to direct me in some of the culture, that would be great for Tyler. Like, I don't know, food preferences, um, interesting furniture layouts, like all of that kind of business, feel free to educate me because... I don't know a lot about your culture. I know it's bloody gorgeous and I would love to visit the Philippines one day. All over the Philippines as well. I've seen so many of the different places um, on like vlogs and stuff that I just want to see it one day. So feel free to help me out. But God, she's stunning. She's so well. What do you expect? She's a Filipino for goodness sake. Anyway, I have done talking enough. We've met this family. Um, I think they're all really cute. And I'm looking, look at you. <laughs> look at she is absolutely fuming about being on the floor down there. <laughs> she... She's like, oh, for God's sake, where's my house? She's literally looking at the empty space like, we live here. <laughs> but um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to flop myself up at a high level and we're going to start building, darlings. Okay then, you beauts. Let's get started, shall we? Um, I've already picked the lot types. Obviously, Celebrity Home keeps the riffraff away. Great acoustics. They're going to have a recording studio and whatnot. And a private dwelling just like the chateau has got up there. Just so it kind of like acts as this is the very exclusive area of um willow creek oh, i'm gonna say that this beach is private as well it belongs to the hargrove house so yeah i'm gonna get rid of that as well can i do that no <laughs> can't get rid of that cellar stand Ah, uh, for goodness sake anyway happy monday to all of you how are you all doing i hope you're all okay really do as always you know as always i hope you're okay i hope you're spiffing I hope you're spiffing darlings i really do um, so here we go. Yes, lovely. Lovely jubbly, you know? Absolutely lovely. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Anyway, so there is like a carport here. I'm going to do that as well, but I was thinking about making this into a garage as well. So maybe just like, I don't know. It's, that's what it looks like it's got here anyway. I'm going to dip this side in a little bit more. Um, and we're going to put a nice door there as well. Don't know what door actually. Let me have a little look at the doors first. I think it's got to be the ye old faithful, the one that never lets me down in this one from um, Get Together. This is still one of my favourite doors in the game for a front door, especially on a modern house. I think it's lovely. Um, so I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to do a little pillar here, I think. Just to, because it's kind of got like a little brick detail there, which I want to kind of add in, I think. Um, this bit here goes underneath of here and it's probably about that wide there. 
la di da oh, stunning. Oh, I'm for that. I really am. Very much for that. I reckon this house goes back quite a bit. The front of it's kind of understated, I would imagine. Um, kind of secluded as well. I'm going to do lots of big trees and stuff around it. Definitely going to be doing like a security fence of some description. Um, I reckon they've got their own security team as well. So I might even add like a little hut out here, like a security hut or something. Just for that kind of vibe, you know. I'm going to go for it. I really am. Right, we're not going to concentrate on the back area as of yet. So what I'm going to do is just literally just connect these in. Um, and we'll, 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 blah, blah, blah. we'll do something with that later. <laughs> <laughs> what was I trying to do then? It's almost got like an overhang here. So I think I'm going to do it. What? Did, what? what now? Oh, yeah. No, that was me. <laughs> that was me. That was me. <laughs> like, what? Where did that foundation come from? No, nope, that was me. That was me indeed. Right. And then this bit kind of goes, oh, how dare you? Why not? You absolute boob. Boob. My game's been lagging again since that update that they did the other day to fix one thing or whatever it was. I don't know what it was. Um, but my game's been lagging again um, when I'm switching in between live mode and build mode. Has anybody else been experiencing it again? Fun times, isn't it? Eh? Fun times getting lag central every bloody update. Loves it. Really do. Really do. Doing a great job. Doing a great job, you are, Sim Team. Great job. <laughs> Uh, anyway um so yeah right i'm gonna go here with these i think and i'm gonna put brick details on them it hasn't necessarily got that on these parts over here but i do want to do like some big walls here as well um but we'll do that with a half wall i think let me see how big this half wall would be uh yeah that's quite nice actually that is quite nice i'm still gonna do um a big fence in the front as well but i think i'm going to use the kind of like wall details you know like the the wooden beams i think we're going to do something like that with them so let me just circular in these moments here that one looks like it goes up higher there um i'm talking to myself now i was on about this bit here so i might have to play around with platforms on the top here i think um but we'll concentrate on that in a minute let me just get a nice little shape going here yeah, it's definitely a lot longer than what this like, but I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Um, that was my toe clicking, by the way, if you don't know. Um, you don't need to worry. I'm a very clicky person. Um, I'm not getting off right or anything, I promise. Um, but yeah, very, very clicky. Very clicky person I am. Very clicky. <laughs> uh, and that does not, I do not mean cliquey. I can't stand fucking cliques. And we all know this community is absolutely rife of them darlings don't we i stay away from them darlings oh you bastard well that's no bother because what i can do is balance that out by going here oh uh well i could do th i could do three in the middle there that would that might hmm mm, that might look nice but it's not going to balance underneath on this bit what i mean this this three if that was balanced underneath there by say like this i mean i could do that as well oh that could look quite nice actually yeah i'm kind of for that kind of for that um so yes three of the same windows please um i think it's these ones isn't it yes these ones here i don't I don't get why these are so cheap i don't i mean i'm not complaining but look those are 20 simoleons each and how much are the big ones 35 simoleons for that a full pane of glass. I know it's from the eco lifestyle, but bloody hell. Bloody hell. Right. Okay. So let me get this paneled on top here because I probably, I don't know if I want to do like an overhang here as well. It hasn't got one with this, but I think it might look quite cute if I do do that. Do do. <laughs> That's another word for poo. Not in the UK though. We don't use do do. I suppose. I know it's is it a US thing? Yeah, it's a US thing. Um yeah. Yeah, I think so. I do think so. It's gonna look a bit boring for the minute until we've got details and stuff flopping through the whole lot. But um I kinda like that. I do. I do kind of like it. I just want to trial one thing. Let me just trial something. Give me a sec. I trialed it and it was awful. I was thinking maybe if I could use like these doors as the windows at the top here. And I thought, let's let's get the black swatch. Is 
that's not black. That is indeed a smoky grey and I'm absolutely not for it. Anyway, so the top is black itself. So I think what I'm going to do is just have a look at all of the black colour sidings and whatnot because I do want it to be kind of jet back. What is that? Is that tile? Oh no, not that darling. Not that. I mean that one would look nice. That would look nice it's got a bit too much detail in it though actually i think going for the concrete the concrete from um ah uh, because i've done that this here i'm just thinking the brick's not going to be there this isn't going to look very black at all and that's fine that is absolutely fine actually it might i'll keep the accents and colors black but we'll just go for that really nice brick. We'll just go for a brick instead. Um, so yes, lovely, stunning. Here for it, 100%. Um, I'm for it, you know? You know? Now, I do want a really old school cut like this. I think that would be the perfect brick. Oh, it is. Oh, she is. She is, you know. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Let's get all of that on there. Like so. Stunning. And you as well all the way inside there as well i'm not going to do all of it brick because there is quite a few like black accents i think i should do that i think i'm going to do under there black that would look really cool actually let me just get that one in there yeah i think that would look really nice really nice now they have got a different stone in this reference image um for the walls and i don't know if that's going to look okay if i used a different stone or not um let me see Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I mean, this one here is very mid-century kind of looking. But I, I liked that then. I didn't think that was going to fit in with a brick. Oh, no, I like that. I do like that. Yeah, we'll stick with that then. Yeah, we'll do that. We will. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. We'll absolutely do it. And then I think definitely getting in the black accent underneath of here. Um, and I don't necessarily have to use that concrete one now. It probably has to be some kind of stone. Oh, that would look good. Yes. Yes, that's a vibe. Oh, yes. Just having a little black accent underneath it there has done all the wonders. It really has. And the same, I think, with... Oh, excuse you. Oh. Um, with the underneath... With the, um, the foundation. The platform on top. Oh, my God. Get your words out, Aiden. I think that's going to look too light. It does. Have we got a jet black in here? Um, do you want to like go on there or not? No. No, I didn't fancy it. Okay. What about you? Let me see that. Yeah, I think so. I do think so. And I think what would look really cool is if I did like an inlaid on top of there as well. Oh, yeah. Do I want to do that underneath? I mean, it's not going to let me because it's an absolute boob. Um, let me figure this out. Like, it wouldn't go on. I've got it on there now, but it, look, look, look. Look, I was like, come, go on there, go on there. I had to get that tiniest little gap at the top, look. <sighs> Seriously. Seriously. I just, I just can't with this game sometimes really fucking can't anyway <laughs> anyway now um i wasn't going to use the new door but i think i'm gonna have to is it got a black it has oh that could look good there um you know my thoughts on this pack i'm not for it i just it's just not for me this pack um, I'm on about the new kit pack, by the way. And don't get me wrong, I think kit packs are a great idea. I think they're an absolutely great idea for people who maybe cannot afford. Um, do I want that over in the corner? No, I think it needs to be maybe there. Yeah, I think it's great for people who may not necessarily have to always have the money for a game pack or something like that, just to add new stuff into their game. But this one just here just wasn't executed. It looked rushed. It just wasn't executed. You know my thoughts on it. But I'm thinking this door might be okay here to be honest with you even though the swatches are kind of annoying that one's probably going to be the best one really i would have preferred if that was just all dark rather than having the brown accent on it the brown accent goes 
but I think for the aesthetics of here, I would have preferred to have used um, this one, but it's not medium height, and I'm not doing medium height walls here. I'm keeping a more keeping a more smaller. But let me just have a think. So went for a different vibe. Used these here, which are the kind of shipping container doors, but I preferred them that side. They just look a little bit more cleaner. They haven't got that wooden detail on it. I just think it's going to go with this house a lot more, and it allowed me to squeeze two cars in here. I mean, there would be a pain in the ass getting them out, but I'm just going to do it. We're absolutely going to do it. Don't know what I'm going to do on the roof yet. I think this one here needs to be dark, um, completely black, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm just wondering, maybe I could just use... Can I use this on the top here? I can. Let me get that grid off. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll do that. We'll do that. I would imagine the living area being in here from the looks of the pictures. They've got the kitchen and living area in this part, um, which is interesting. But I think I'd probably do the kitchen, but like to get this view, to get all of this view that you've got going on here. I think that would probably be nice. I might even extend it out a little bit towards the back and do the kitchen a bit further back on this point. I've also moved these half walls um, forward one tile. I just didn't like the way they were connecting to this here. I don't, I like the stones together. I just didn't like the way that they were kind of connecting side by side. So that's kind of helped that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, you've just got to trust the vision with this house. I think it will slowly start to get there once we've started doing a lot more to it. And as always with the first part, we never really get a lot done anyway, to be honest with you. Uh, that's just us, isn't it? In a nutshell, to be honest, you know? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think what I want to do, I'm thinking about using this one here but also adding in um some of those decorative elements to this um and i think i need to go and find them to show you what i'm on about Just give me one sec yeah these here from eco lifestyle again um and i've sized them down and i think just like putting them on the actual fence themselves i don't know it adds something to it it just makes it look a little bit more decorative and pretty um so i think i'm gonna do that I think I'm going to do that kind of like all the way along on this part. Does that hide underneath there? No, it doesn't. But what I can do is just bring... Oh, you're not going to sit against it? What are you doing? There we go. Stunning. Like that. You know? I mean, it's not done massive amounts, but I think that will be really, really nice. I do want to mix this with a bit of brick in there as well. I probably could do that too. Let me see the perfect height. It was probably the original one that we had. Oh, that's a bit tall now, isn't it? Oh, no, that's quite nice, actually. Yes, I think I am going to. And then put in some of this brick on the actual exterior as well. Maybe. Maybe. That's a maybe. I'm not going to keep it there for the minute, but that is a definite maybe. So what we need to start doing is mapping out the actual area that we've got here. Um, We do have a driveway here. Uh, and a driveway there. So I might do two entrances either side here. Oh, I don't know. Let me have a think again. God, there's lots of thinking going on today. Okay, so this is what I've decided to do. Um, I use these to act as like a security fence. So I reckon maybe this opens like kind of that way in the middle here. Just splits open in the middle and kind of swings inwards. We're going to use our imaginations for that. And I've actually used... Um, an actual gate there for the main entrance area oh god i'm gonna be failing so much today do you know why do you know why because i didn't go to bed till very late the last three nights in a row and do you know why because i'm addicted to another game again yes i am darlings it's blame it on my hobby <laughs> just blame it on the hobby um i am playing death stranding again which is an amazing game by hideo kojima hideo kojima hideo kojima who's an amazing game design um a game designer i don't you've probably all heard of him you would have if you are gamers um and i absolutely love loved death stranding on playstation so i recently bought it for pc because i can play that in um 4k on my 4k monitor with in more than 60 fps and it's just one of the most beautiful games it really is it's bloody weird i don't understand half the thing that's going on half the time but i just i just find it really satisfying 
like being a delivery person in this like weird dystopian world like it's just something about it i love it shit myself every now and again because it's got horror as aspects to it but um i'm for it love oh i've also whiff whiffled out a hedge as well you've probably noticed that um uh, let me just get another one in here on this side because i do want to frame it in um so i'll take you to about there my darling Yes, and then we'll get rid of the fence that's underneath of here. The, oh, not you. You, 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 and you. Stunning. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I like that. Once we've got that terrain paint in, which I'm going to do this whole, like, area in, I think. I think that'll be really, really, really beautiful Um, for it. But yeah, let me know if any of you guys have played um, Hideo... <laughs> Hideo... <sighs> let me know if you've played um, Death Stranding. I'd be, I'd be interested to know what did you think of it because uh, I find it very strange but the music in it is just amazing and it's just got a great atmosphere in the game it's just got a beautiful atmosphere spooky as hell but I love it I really do anyway right what we're going to do is start getting that terrain paint in I think and I think the one in question is going to have to be this one here isn't it let me see yeah that's the the most like it's not perfect I think it will kind of blend in quite well here. So I'm going to do it all the way along to there. Ah, oh, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And I want to do this whole area in this as well. So I'm going to get quite a... Oh, God, that's a bit big. That is a bit big. It's a bit excessive, Aiden. I'm going to do this whole area in this um, terrain paint. Just so we've got enough space here to the cars to be able to turn around and whatnot i'm gonna like maybe do a bit of detailing out here but we've already got one car out here plus um two cars in the like the garage as well well they're rich what do you expect look how much money they've got eight million millions we're definitely going to go under eight million by the time we finish with this house i mean we're not going to build the house for 141 millions are we agent darling no no we are not um but yes um, thank you so much as well, guys, for all of your lovely comments and all my videos last week. I'm so glad that you enjoyed Malfoy Manor. I'm really enjoying building that. I really am. Uh, one of my favorite uh, uses of custom content is doing it that way, if you know what I mean. That kind of like churchy vibe. Because you can't really recreate it very well using in-game objects, that kind of vibe. So I'm glad that you're all liking it. I really am. Uh, and don't forget, I will be getting out my build on the gallery um my converted monastery with all the cc linked today as well keep an eye out for that too my loves right yes understated classy for it understated classy for it okay okay i think we need to carry on with the shape of the house i really do um but what i need to do is just go into my head for a little bit a bit and just get this kind of like mapped out a little bit better um because i don't like to talk when i do these kind of things so just give me a two sex okay so i've made it a little bit more wider put this wing on this side and then i lowered this side down just so it didn't look too much kind of going on this side but i'm still thinking i do want to maybe wing that out on that side as well no i don't actually i kind of prefer how flat it looks over on that side there i'm kind of preferring that um but for the rest of it I think we'll come back to this tomorrow and sort of like get some different ideas. I think we're just going to concentrate for the last few minutes just to make some of the terrain painting look a little bit nice. Um, and we didn't really make a massive start today, to be honest with you. Uh, but tomorrow we'll do a lot more. I'm going to get some beautiful ideas out for the interior as well. I definitely want to go a lot mid-century on the inside, some darker vibes, maybe slightly industrial on the interior. Um, maybe we may be able to find some uses for the new objects from that kit pack i doubt it but we'll give it a go um <laughs> doubt it but i'll give it a go um but yeah maybe slightly industrial on the inside with lots of contemporary kind of furniture and whatnot i think that's the vibe that we're going to go for this place slightly dark aesthetic as well i think like a nice darker aesthetic coming through too i have put that hazard that um fence underneath of the hedge excuse me my lord um i have put that underneath of the hedge as well just so um the sims don't walk through this hedge because they do they just walk straight through this hedge weirdly which very much annoys me i wish all of the debug and live edit object 
objects had like collision on them. I've heard someone say that they added it and I have I've I've yet to see that in game. All my sims just walk through everything that I place down, which is very annoying as it is. Um but you know, Jenna Sake Weber, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We'll do this all underneath of there. I do want some big trees in the front of this house as well. I think it would look smashing. Maybe oh we could use these big willow trees. That would look really nice like a big one like around here or something as well so we'll do that before we leave today as well i'll make sure to add in a few trees because we've not done much it's a bloody box at the minute isn't it but you've just got to trust the vish loves you've got to trust that vish um and slowly and surely it gets there i know i've had several people say oh, whenever you build i always look at it and think oh god no i'm not sure about that but then i always pull through in the end and that is where trust the vision comes from loves you've just got to trust my vision and if you don't like my vision, what more can I do? You know, what more can I do? And it's my vision, not yours, you know? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. I think this is going to be a nice vibe. I do. Um, I'm not sure about these windows just yet. I'm not sure about them just yet. I'm thinking about maybe adding like a walk around balcony on that part as well. I think that could look quite cute. Um, but for now... We'll just leave it as it is now where is that tree in question i always struggle at finding this there she is but she's bloody massive she's bloody massive so we're going to size her down um i might make it slightly a bit bigger than that though let me just see where that's going to swing in it probably needs to be like around it would look nicer on that direction but i don't want it to cut in too much it's not really cutting in over there yeah that looks nice I do like that. Okay, it would have been nice if we could have had pine trees here. Oh, well, they have got some in the background, look. <gasps> oh, forget that, darlings. Let's get some bloody pine trees here. I think they would look a lot better around this um, house itself. Um, they probably need to be a bit bigger, like this kind of vibe, though, don't they? Um, yeah, like, like these kind of ones. Are they just all the same tree, but different shades? I think they are. I just think that would look a lot better. These trees would look a lot better with this house in itself. Yeah, it does. I do prefer that. And we've got these out here as well. So I could probably utilize some of those throughout the um, the house too. But yeah, that kind of vibe. I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow with fresh eyes. Uh, and I might do a few tweaks off of camera as well for tomorrow. Because this is going to be a huge house. The house is going to go like right back to here as well. Like... It's going to be a big one. It really is. We need to get a pool, like gym. It's going to have everything that you could ever need in a mansion. Um, but very understated. Very nice. I just hate the ceilings. Ugh, the white ceilings. It makes me furious. But for today, we're done. There we go, my loves. Part one of the Hargroves is complete for today. Um, I'm going to do a little bit off camera, I think, just to get a vibe flowing, that mid modern mid-century understated vibe that I really want to try and get across with this build. Um, but yeah, I'm done. Absolutely done for today. I'll be back tomorrow with part two. But until then, I'll see you later. Goodbye.